6.43 in the morning, Playhouse in the morning, Y94. Hi, I'm Zero. We got Joel D over there filling in for Amy today and tomorrow. Uh, you probably have heard Joel D uh, before on the afternoon show, uh, which sounds awesome, by the way. Oh, thank you. I don't know. Do you, are you good at taking compliments? I, I It's weird. So I've learned to say thank you. Just That's thanks. it. <laughs> thanks. thanks. Appreciate uh, that. I try really hard. <laughs> they love your broadcast here. It's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, well, something that I need your help with today there, Joel, is we do something called Am I the Jerk? Ooh, okay. I like and this. So we have three scenarios that we've yanked from our social media page where people have said, okay, I, I want you to tell me, was I the jerk in this situation? So I'll present it. You and I will have a, we'll vote about it. Were they a jerk, not a jerk? Why does it sound that way to you? And then we'll move on to the next one, all right? All right, let's do it. Case number one of three today, Am I the Jerk? My girlfriend flat out asked me. She asked me if she looked like she'd been gaining weight, and I said, yeah, I, I guess so, because she does a little bit. I would never said anything, but she asked me directly. I was honest. She's livid. She hasn't talked to me in days. At one point, she said, why am I even with her if I think she's so ugly then? Was I the jerk? Not at all. Not at all the jerk, mm -hmm. because she asked for it, and then if you weren't honest, then you'd be in trouble for that. So definitely not the jerk. Yeah, I don't think you were the jerk either. It does sound like she... <sighs> I mean, if you directly ask somebody a question like that, he answered honestly. Yeah, so sure. I don't know how he worded it, but yeah, it looks like he gained a little weight. He was honest with you. The only thing you need to do in that situation is say, yeah, maybe, but I also, I am too. Like, you know, put yeah. it back on yourself and be like, oh, maybe I should get in better shape. But then you get in trouble. You know, either way, you're going to get in trouble. That's how I feel in that situation. Yeah, we gotta, honey, we gotta stop eating all that fast food, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Or I need to quit eating all the kids' leftovers, because that's usually where mine comes from. Well, yeah, I mean, kids leave them delicious snacks around. Everywhere. Right? Half-eaten Rice Krispie bar, like, hello. Am I the jerk case? Two of three today. My sister's boyfriend seems like a real piece of work. We all met him last week, and I was under-impressed, and she asked everybody what she thought of him. My parents said he was great, and we love him. Can't wait to get to know him more. And I said, honestly, I feel like you could do better. Physically, I was under-impressed. He seemed kind of rude, and now my parents said, no, you're rude. I was honest. Why did you ask me what I thought of him if you didn't want to know? As oddly enough, it feels kind of similar to the other one. Like, somebody asked your opinion, you gave your real opinion, and now they're mad about it. Was she the jerk? I'm going to say yes, because I don't know the full story of it. She's the jerk for the situation of maybe she's jealous. Is she in a relationship, too? Sure. And if she's not, maybe she's just jealous because her sister's got a boyfriend now. But if he was being rude and he was, like, inconsiderate to different situations within the family and just kind of put himself into it, like, dude, you're the new guy. You know, the, you can't, you don't have an opinion on certain things. But sometimes, you know, if you're, if you're that kind of, personality and you come in hot to a yeah. whole family function you're gonna come off rude so maybe maybe not but i'm gonna say she has a jerk for you know give the guy a chance i think you probably nailed it because unless you provide specific here's why i just answered the way i did he was a jerk to mom when he said this he was a jerk to dad when this happened if you're just like i ah, know he seems kind of ugly and rude yeah you're the jerk you're the jerk you gotta be able to have some supporting evidence and finally today am i the jerk my friend recently went through a divorce, and I'm the one that consoled her. I was her shoulder. I took her out every night. She even stayed with me for a while, and I listened to a couple of months of her venting while her life fell apart. I said, oh, I always hated him. We ate ice cream together, sad movies together, and I helped build her back up to be the person she is today. Then I find out a few days ago that, well, they've actually seen each other, gone on a couple of meals together, and she's considering taking him back. I told her, are you sure you want to do that? That's all I said. Are you sure you want to do that? And she said, mind your own bleeping business. Ooh. And we had a, a situation where we both cursed each other out. Was I the jerk? Not at all. Not at all. You were being a good friend. You had to tell her. And the, I, 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 did, I hate those situations. There's always going to be where you go back to that person, right? Unfortunately, it, yes. It's, it's just a, a cycle of life. So no, she wasn't uh, the jerk. Not at all. Like you're being a good friend because... You told all your deep, dark secrets of the things that were probably yep. crappy about the situation, and now you don't want to rehear it again. That's on you. You would be the jerk if you were like, you don't want to do that, and here's why, and you were like a lawyer, and he came with a yellow legal pad, and you're like, all right, exhibit A, you told me that he died, and you just like railed in like that. Why you're not a jerk is if you literally just said the sentence, Boy, are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. Or anything like that? No, you're not a jerk. You're literally just asking a question. Are you sure you want to do that? To which she could have just said, yes. 
and that could have been the end of it. And that could, yeah, hundred percent. But no, she took it personal because obviously she's an oversharer, mm-hmm. eating your ice cream and telling all the you know deep dark secrets.